I don't think people are ready for this review. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a swatch review on the newest release from Juvia's Place and it is the Wahala palette. Um, it also goes into translation drama. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you could check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. Um, please pardon the lighting situation. I'm trying to figure out the best way possible for it to be. Um, because I noticed in the last video that the shadow was really bad on my left side. So I'm trying to figure it out. Please bear with me. It's going to get there eventually. <laughs> so... As I stated, we are going to be diving into the newest release from Juvia's Place, and it is their Walhalla palette. Um, and they put down here at the bottom, translation, drama. So let's go ahead and just get on into it. If you want to go straight into the swatches, I am going to put a timestamp right here so you can just bypass all that I'm getting ready to talk about when it comes to this palette. So this is the newest release from Juvia's Place, and as I stated, it is the Wahala palette, and down here it says Translation Drama. Now, I do have to say, I do like the, the packaging for this palette. Um, the box is very colorful, and it's got the um, holographic down here, um, but I normally don't keep the boxes. So, yeah, there goes that. <laughs> It says on the back of the box, Wahala is a Nigerian word, a translation for drama, trouble, and intensity, often used as a word and, as, and a slang in Nigerian pidgin English. Our drama palette is a powerful selection of contrasting colors, which exemplifies our inner struggles and beliefs, defending and owning your beauty in an artistic way, regardless of so societal norms and standards. Our definition of a rainbow palette in its most beautiful, authentic, and dramatic form. Um, when this was re when this was announced, a lot of people were saying that um, this kind of fits the brand because I know the brand the brand owner has gotten into a little bit of drama recently. But as far as I go, I, I I'm all about the makeup. I, I could care less about what's going on with drama unless it's something like really major. Then I'm like. But that's another topic for another day. <laughs> when you open the box, it does come wrapped in bubble wrap. And this is what the palette looks like. It's the same as the box. Juvia's Place and Wahala are in holographic details. I really love the mask. It really does um, represent what the palette is going to look like inside. And, of course, you get your plastic sheet. And this is what she looks like. Now, this palette right here is a first for Juvia's Place because they actually have pressed glitters in this palette. They have three of them, and they've never had them before. It's always been mattes, metallics, and satin shades. Um, you do get 20 shades in this palette, which is their, I do believe it is their most pan amount i think the biggest one is 16 if i'm not mistaken but it's not the biggest in size the biggest in size is their masquerade palette and the magic palette before they turned this into the magic mini so i want to compare sizes with at least the masquerade it's not as big as what masquerade is as you can see the the pan sizes are smaller in Wahala than they are in Masquerade. If I can get this open, as you guys can see. So that was one thing that people were saying that it looked really big. It's not big in compared 
in comparison to these two palettes. So in this palette, you do have an arrangement of pressed pigments, eyeshadows, and different types of finishes as mattes, metallics, and the three pressed glitters in this palette. Upon looking at this palette, what I did like the most is how each row, you can kind of make your own eye look out of, e out of it. Maybe except for this one, because I don't see you putting two pressed glitters on the same eye, so, on the same eye look. So, but with these four rows right here, they just look so cohesive that you can just make a nice look out of them. I did use this this row right here for my eye look today. I did go more of a softer purple than more of a bright or a dark purple because I have been doing a lot of brights and dark looks lately so I went a little bit more softer today. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start swatching this palette. I am going to go across the first row right here. Um, we have BU, we have Stand Up, Fighter, Fire, and Power. And I do believe Fire, yes, Fire is one of the pressed pigments. So when it comes to pressed pigments, you are going to have to worry about maybe some staining issues because they're not really intended for the immediate eye area. And it does say that on the back of the box and on the back of the palette as well. Now, as I stated before, when it comes to Juvia's Place palettes, their mattes can be really hit or miss. Um, some of them work great. Some of them don't. Some of them feel really soft. Some of them feel really dry. Um, like, for example, BU feels really, really nice, but Fire feels really dry. I'm not sure if it's the pressed pigment formula or whatnot, but it does feel really dry. And you do get a lot of kickback in the palette. I did use BU in my um, crease today. And this is what they look like on my finger. I really like this green shade. I like the shift in it in Fighter. There's no primer on my hand as always. And please, please pardon the fact that I do have bruising on my hand. My platelets have tanked and that normally happens when my platelets tank, I get random bruising. And I did use stand up on my lid today, on the inner part of my lid. BU does swatch patchy, but it actually applies really, really well. And it blends out really nicely. And let's see if we can blend, ooh, ooh. Fire is not looking like a very pretty shade. But that is a pressed pigment, it may, be different on the brush than what it actually is being swatched so I'm gonna have to play with that shade to see how it is the last shade in this row is power which if you look at it with my light it looks teal but it's actually purple with a teal shift it's really neat I'm looking at it right now and it looks purple I'm trying to see if I can get it to shift to the purple I don't know if you guys can see it. There it goes. It is really neat. It is a purpley teal shift. It's just, it's really, really neat. The next row we have is Unafraid, Pride, Gossip, rumors and yanga yanga is actually one of the pressed glitters in this palette and i don't believe there is a pressed pigment in this row if i'm not mistaken let me check my notes just in case yeah and i did use pride as my transition color that's what it looks like on my finger Now you may not be able to see pride on my hand because it is very light, but you can actually build it up to make it look really, really nice. And I've never really had an issue with 
they're metallics. They can be chunky sometimes, but most of the time their metallics are just out of this world amazing. Now we're going to go into the pressed glitter Yanga. Yanga. Now I have not touched these at all yet. So we're doing this for the first time. Now when you look at it in the pan, it is like a blue with green in it. But in my light, it looks like a dark green with black. That's not the case. Okay, it feels okay. It does feel like they ha it has that gel texture to it. See, there's the green. Or the blue. Yeah, these are really gel-like. And I don't think I'm going to like these that much. But I'm going to have to try them out. I'm not a super huge fan of pressed glitters that had that gel feeling to them, like I said in my last video. Next row, we have Envy, Sis, Over Sabby, Unsilenced, and Love. And Over Sabby, Unsilenced are both pressed pigments. Oh, Sis and Unsilenced feel very dry. Over Savvy actually feels really nice. And I did use Sis on the outer corner of my eye today. Now Sis, this shade right here, is a very patchy shade on the brush. It took me a gr good, <laughs> I'm having a mean girls moment. It took me a good 25 minutes for me to pack it on the way I wanted it and to blend it out because it is so, so patchy. I am really impressed by the unsilent shade. blends out rather nicely it blends a lot better than that fire shade did as you see sis is just very patchy and the last shade we have is love Ooh, that had a lot of kick up that is super pretty the hubsters get ready to come down the stairs blends out okay not the greatest but okay in the last row we have woke unshook pepper Bodie, busybody and clout i did use unshook on my lid and pepper body and clout are the last two pr pressed glitters and Woke and Busybody are the last pressed pigments. That's what they look like. Okay, where is Woke? Okay, Woke is supposed to be right there. Let me see if I can... For that being a pressed pigment, that sure is not all that great as far as opaqueness goes. But then again, it could be a really good transition color. And Busy Body does blend out really nice. The last shade we have in the palette is Clout. Now it does look like it's a dark blue with like black in it which actually it's not it is more of a purple with some green and blue in it All 
All right, I am going to roll the footage of me making this eye look and I will be right back with my final thoughts, pricing, and where you can purchase. Alrighty, that is the footage of me making this eye look for you guys today. Um, as far as this palette goes, I think it's okay. Is it the best that Juvia's Place has put out? No. It's just okay. Um, I think for my next video, um, since it's not going to be a review video, I think I'm going to use this again to get a better feel of the pressed pigments. And I might use a glitter. I'm not sure. Because like I said, I, like I said in my BH Cosmetics video, my last video and earlier, I'm not a fan of pressed glitters that feel like gel. I, I'm not at all. Um, but overall, it's just an okay palette um, in my eyes right now. But the shades that I did use today minus Sis were really good. Sis was just really, really patchy and yeah, it, it, it didn't work all that great. It just took me forever for it to work right. Now, do I feel like you absolutely need to have this palette? Yes and no. Yes, if you are a diehard Juvia's Place fanatic. No, if you're on the fence about it because while it while it's a gorgeous palette I do believe that most of these shades are in palettes that Juvia's Place has already done and have done better this palette does go for $36 which does make it the most expensive palette that Juvia's Place has done probably because they have those pressed glitters in there and it's currently sold out I'm sorry about that <laughs> Um, you can only get it on Juvia's Place's website, and I know that there are many discount codes out there that you guys can find to get 10% off this palette once it comes back in stock. They do have a button where you can be emailed when this comes in stock if you want to pick this up. But it's just okay to me. It's not the greatest. It's not my favorite Juvia's Place palette. It's just okay. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget, all my social media handles will be down in the description box. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, all the rest of the products that I use to make today's look will be down in the description box as well. I love you all so much, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Ugh. As much as I had to fight to get this look right, I do like how it came out. Yeah. Another one in the bag. Another video in the bag. I'm really liking this lip color I did today. <laughs>